here we are at drawing number six and why don't we take a look at what this front face would look at like when I look at my three-dimensional object. Push my button here, it gives me the front view. I bet I can zoom in on this a little bit. There we go. And that's what uh, the front view would look like. All right. Um, go back here, and I know my spacing. You should see your on your sheet. You know it's four up, three across, two across here, three down here, and five across the bottom. So with that information, let's draw this. One, two, three, four, up, three across, one down. Connect on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to draw some projection lines from step two. So going up from every corner of the front view to the top. Let's go inside the three-dimensional object and check out to see what that would look like. Pull down on the top. That's what it would look like. A rectangle next to a square. All connected. So, go here and box. Oops, I'm in the wrong color. Common mistake, just change it, reset it, and those projection lines really help me know where to put this. Great. Now I'm going to go back to red, put some projection lines in, going off to the right, from every corner of the front view. Step four. Before we get to step five, let's go back into Educator. Well, let's reset what I'm thinking. I get those next thing. Well, let's go into Educator. Reset this to the front view, and then go to um, the right-hand side of the object, and pull this around with our right hand. Pretend like we're doing it. And until we just see it from the right, that's what it would look like. Great. Now I'm going to draw that. So I go to, uh, we, well, first we have a big rectangle with a little rectangle standing on top of it for that back part of the right side. This face right there definitely showed up, didn't it? So let's draw it. Projection lines again, make a really easy target. And then have it all done. Now you try it. And when you're done with that, the one's drawing seven.